in case. <laughs> Filthy, murky water. Yucky, yucky, yucky poo. Crispin, want to go for a swim? In. Sure thing, boss. I just have to transform into submersible mode. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. I don't have a submersible mode. <laughs> oh, More Crispin. Arms. Too bad. Mm. Like they've been stripped of usable parts. Oh, there's something there, but first let's let us go in this direction here. No, okay, fine. Let's go to this direction here. Jump. Looks like the grill of an old chrysalid. I'm not doing that until you build me some arms. Maybe if we were back at the Unique, I'd take it, but it's too big to waste time with here. What is it? Looks like the grill of an old chrysalid. Chrysalid. Alright. Time to talk to this guy. Uh, I don't really want to try that. He looks like a big old meanie. Oh, ha. Oh, hey. Now look what I see. Oh, the wings of a bunny and his little trainee. Why is everyone we meet crazy? Crazy, he says. Oh my, oh dear. I assure you, my comrades, there's nothing to fear. Just little lost me, your brother knight errant. A brother in arms. We have different parents. Miss Prima, who are you? My name is my secret. You can't make me talk. I'd ruin my puzzle, give a key to my lock. Maybe we'll just call you Screw Loose. A joker, he seems, for sure not an ace. He needs a small clue to spare him disgrace. For the crowds who adore me, crime is my name. Hey, well. By now, no doubt, you've heard of my fame. Your 187th brother. Line up the torso of his 200 abreast. The bravest of brave, the best of the best. Wind up the toy soldiers to march on their way. The city has fallen, no reason to stay. Two hundred abreast, my sisters and brothers. Now only three left. Forget all the others. I guess that's a yes. Fifty behind me, he came off the line. The gunner's no fun of for being a brother of mine. I like this promo. I like his rhymes. He's a jolly old fellow. How do you survive down here? I'm a soldier by trade. Legion built me at last. My armor is sturdy, my pistons are fast. I like it. I carry no guns, for my weapons my mind. And those who would kill me will find themselves cried. Really? Don't you think you're overdoing it? I mean, that barely made sense. And it hardly rhymed. No. Bro. <laughs> no, bro. You slow. Don't be a hoe. We have to go. Why are you here? When we laid down our arms, my medal was taken. Drunken of honor from the cause we'd forsaken. The Metropolitan Thief cast it deep in this hole, where now it lies buried like bituminous coal. Fogs and gears, bituminous coal. You're looking for a medal? No, my comrade, you've misunderstood. I sit here and wait, as a penitent should. If the medal finds me, I shall clean it straight. But until that day, I shall sit here and wait. Mm. Why primer? There's nothing so gorgeous, flawless, or fine as the perfectly indivisible numbers of prime. Consider this list two to one ninety nine. Those are all the prime numbers, yes. Well, that was helpful. Goodbye. Farewell, farewell, linger not for my sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. I wonder if that's a clue. Of some kind. Primer. I have nothing to say to him. That's crazy talk. I'm not going to threaten him. <laughs> he might hurt me. <laughs> alright. Um, alright. So you look for a middle, eh? I don't want that sludge in my joints. Hmm. 
I'm, 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 I'm. Okay, let's go back this way then. There seem to be foundation supports for the city above. Those are all that's supporting the city? Mm. They seem to be foundation support. They seem. They seem. There's something up there on the crane. Who are you? Boss, I'm not in the business of flying over to spooky islands just to investigate things that you're curious about. Oh, but it might be a killer robot with a grudge against witty sidekicks. I was going to say helpful. Man, Crispin, you're kind of a bitch. What up with that? I wonder if that keypad controls the bridge. I can't possibly reach that. But Crispin can. It's a huge crane. Crispin can. Crispin, oh Crispin. Go over there, please, Crispin. Crispin, can you try typing something into that keypad? If by typing you mean ramming my face, then yes, boss, I suppose I can. Good boy. Um, oh dear. from Primer. Okay. There's something up there on the crane. Yes. It's a raised drawbridge. We could go the other way first, so I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Because we are missing some information. What's all wrong here? Warning. Factor facilities decommissioned. Enter at own risk. Oh she some kind of wastewater. The current is pushing all the junk up against the bridge's supports. Mm. It's some kind of broken down robot. Whatever it is, it looks dangerous. Warning. Factor for enter at That's crazy talk. Just build me a missile launcher and I'll get right on it. I was thinking you could distract it. And then what? Uh... Let's stick to missiles. For now, that thing's ignoring us. Best to keep it that way. No way to reach it while that thing is standing there. Memory. 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 The sooner I can stop carrying this heavy motor around, the better. I'd be happy to carry it. If I had arms, that is. Chuckers. A machine belt. It's a fine felt. For now, that thing's ignoring us. Best to keep it that way. He needs, uh, he needs some juice. He needs some juice. Alright. Well. Okay. They look like they've been stripped of usable parts. Do you know anything about that locked bridge past the cars? What I know is a vault locked tight with a key. 
which only a fool would open for free. Fine, what do you want? Or is that a fool a peddler is he who opens his locks for merely a fee? I repeat, what do you want? Nothing more than to sit here and see. If you poor interlopers are smarter than me. Boss, can we use the plasma torch on him? <laughs> no. There's a dangerous looking robot just past here. Yeah, aren't you worried he's gonna eat you or something? I've seen him quite often, though he'll not see me. And so we are happy as neighbors can be. Can you hide us from him? If I could, I would not, but the choice is not mine. There's no room in his brain to be for the pride. Goodbye. Farewell, farewell, Linda, not for my sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. I have nothing to say to him. Primer, 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 primer. Five. Information regarding 187th Legion belt. 187? Information regarding 187th Legion belt. Oh, it's both prime. A string of numbers from primer. Alright. I think it's 137, but that'd be, that'd be a pretty good guess. That'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty good. Be smart. Let's go. I am so smart. I am so smart. S M I T. I mean S M A R T. Are these heads? Oh shit. Psychos. Did you hear something? Uh, boss, do you see those things? I've got a bad feeling about this, boss. Prisoner, on the count of three. One. And Prime, help us. I am Clarity Arbiter Belt, version 2, ah. Lock Lurk to Arbiter, Judge of Metropole. This is my home. Now, if you will excuse me a moment. That's barbaric. Civilization is defined by law, and this is lawful. As enemies of the city, they forfeited their components. I have merely exercised my right of plunder. That sounds familiar. Whether it's legal or not, it's grotesque. You have a strange way of saying thank you. Thank you. I'm Horatio Nobilt, version 5. And I'm Crispin Horatio Built, version 1. Welcome, Horatio. Crispin, what brings you to the Underworks? Chimna locked. Machine Ex Machina. Isn't that like... Uh, that's a literary, literary device, isn't it? Deus Ex Machina? Yeah. Anyway. What were those things? Yeah. They are shells. Robots who traded their processors and memory to Metromind in exchange for energy and repairs. Now mindless, they still scavenge parts to trade with her. But those were the last of them, right? Hardly. 
Metromine now has more efficient ways to accumulate processor power, but she left hundreds of shells in the underworks. Is there any way to save them? That question is irrelevant. They lived profligate lives, and when they had squandered their resources, okay. chose to become thieves and destroyers. Punishment, not clemency, is what justice requires. You said you were a law clerk. What does that mean? My sister, Charity, and I were built to advise Arbiter Manbuilt, who administers Metropole's court. Charity sees everything through the lens of mercy. For me, the law is clear. A matter of ones and zeros, unclouded by preference or sentiment. Mm, law without mercy, huh? How does that even work? Perfectly. It is the opposite approach that fails. Mercy is malware. Once infected with it, justice becomes slow and unpredictable. In time, the system itself must be discarded. Only my vigilance protected Arbiter from this taint, but he has been without me for a long time. Mmm. A taint, though. Why are you taking their heads, Jeffrey Dahmer? Why are you taking their heads? I am giving fair warning. To other shells? No, they lack the capacity for fear. The heads are for a robot named Scraper Sternweiler built. You really think a bunch of rusty boxes will scare him off? No. I do not want to scare him, I want to warn him. When he ignores that warning, I can destroy him lawfully and without guilt. Uh, boss, she's kind of exciting my electrons. I'd like to report a theft. My power core was stolen, stolen by a big heart. robot. Meh. Big claws, shoots lasers, talks like this. He came aboard the crashed ship I was living in, attacked me, and stole the core. Took it. Excuse me? Whether the taking was a theft is a legal determination. Please do not characterize the evidence. It was my power core. He shot me, and he stole it. I know the robot you describe. His name is Scraper Sternweiler Built, and he is the servant of Metromind Manbuilt, a member of the council that governs this city. Mm. I have no fondness for Metromind, but I must be impartial in considering your claim. Tell me, Fair. did Scraper say anything before he took your power core? Before he stole my power core, he said something like, Enemy, forfeit, plunder. I see. What, are those words override commands to turn off law and order? They are legal concepts, Horatio. If Scraper's characterization is correct, then he did not steal your power core. He took lawful possession of it. He shot me and he stole it. Calm down, boss. This occurred inside the city. No, in the dunes. I see. In a crashed airship. Yes, I said that already. I appreciate your report, Horatio Nelbilt. You have presented a credible claim that Scraper Sternweiler built, no doubt acting at Metromine's direction, took your power core. Beyond that, however, there is not even probable cause to arrest, let alone evidence to convict Scraper. Mm -hmm. First, the dunes are outside the ordinary jurisdiction of metropolitan law. Second, a crashed ship in the dunes is likely a relic of the War of the Four Cities. If so, your ship was forfeit enemy property, legally subject to plunder by the council. Ah. Scraper, acting as an agent of a council member, would be within his rights to seize it. Nevertheless, I would advise you to bring your case before Arbiter for further examination. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to kill Scraper in order to get that, that call back. But then again, the core is in the tower, which is being hoarded by Metromite. Ah. Yeah, man built. So was he built by men? Did you say Arbiter man built? As in built by man himself? Yes. Does man still walk here in Metropole? No. But man was here in the past. The public records regarding humans were deleted by council decree. Mm -hmm. What I know is entirely hearsay. I was built after the Urbanians murdered them during the war. Impossible. That is what Arbiter told me, and it was told to him by Metromind. Beyond that, I cannot say. Did Arbiter tell you anything else about man? Only that he missed their legal arguments. Quite amusing, if often illogical. <laughs> legal arguments? Silly man. Yes. To play a symbolic role in their justice system, humans argued cases before Arbiter. Symbolic? Play a role? Man is the all-builder, our lord and master. It is possible that the man you worship is not the humans in my records. All I know is hearsay. Do not rush to judgment. Mm. How can I see Arbiter? Anyone can With your petition eyes. Them. Cases are considered in the order they are brought to court, but... What? I met a scavenger who told me that the courthouse was sealed and that Arbiter was no longer hearing cases. But that cannot be true. 
The Metropolitan Constitution requires him to resolve all cases and controversies. He would not fail in that duty. Sounds like he already has. Mm -hmm. Nonsense. Not even Charity could persuade him to